guys, this is Alicia. I am here with my client that just got her bombshell chic um, Peruvian extensions uh, just installed. She's getting the versatile sew in. Um, she has custom color. So I custom colored her natural hair kind of in an ombre effect. Um, and then she has auburn brown at the bottom with her natural hair. So what I did was just match her extensions um, that color. So it goes from a blonde into a natural brown. So kind of like a reverse ombre. Just put it down so y'all can see. Mrs. Peruvian here. She has three bundles. And um, I'll put the information of where she got her extensions at on, um, um, at the end of the video. So um, I am just going to explain kind of the way I blend her natural hair uh, with um, with the extensions, just show you the versatility of it, and also some different cutting techniques that I use to give her hair that body and movement that we all like. Okay, so I will see you guys in a minute. So y'all just stay tuned and keep watching. So for the leave out, I use Aveda's anti-humectant. Um, I just take a very little bit out of it and emulsify it in my hands and just run my hands through her leave out, just leave out, not her extensions. And I just find that it really helps with the whole silkening out process and it really helps to blend your natural leave out with your extensions. And the flat irons I use are FHI's, um, the half inch. So I am getting ready to uh, layer her hair. I What I do is I, I start off with concave layers, which is just basically taking all the hair up to a certain point and angling uh, my hands down and cutting that point to kind of blend it, um, just to keep the fullness at the bottom. And then I go back through and use my razor and kind of just bl blend it all together so it won't have any harsh lines. So I'm just starting off by taking each section and I do realize that my camera is not in the area that it should be but I'm just angling my fingers now angling the hair down and then cutting just um, doing concave layers and then as you'll see I'll go back and use um, my razor comb to keep the hair full and just still not have so many um, the blunt lines in in your hair So um, right now I'm just putting some bombshell curls in her hair. I'm using the FHI one inch flat iron and kind of doing something similar to uh, ribbon curls with my flat iron and I'm just giving her that bombshell look that we all love. Now for her edges I use Aveda's control paste which is made um, with flaxseed oil so it is definitely healthy for your edges and I just uh, pick a little bit out and put it on there and just kind of use like a hard brush to smooth that down and believe me it will not leave your hair cakey or like oily the next day I love 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 this for your edges I just have this thing about messing up curls like I do not like when curls are so perfect and they're just finished I like bombshell hair I like you woke up and you look gorgeous so this is me just messing up the curls and just giving her big full hair <clears throat> 
Now for the best part. You can see the versatility in the sew-in. You can place it up in a high pony. You can do a very cute coil. Um, and also sleeping like this at night with your hair on top of your head will uh, make sure you keep that volume, those bombshell curls popping. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite sew-ins. Um, I love how you can do anything you want to do with it. Wear a headband, um, wear any cute hair accessory, and it still looks like your very own hair. Um, please notice how her middle part um, just kind of disappeared and her hair doesn't look like it's missing any hair in that middle part area. So it's very easy, very easily you can just kind of comb it back and, you know, do whatever you want with it.